fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 8th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Evening time here in Bangkok. I've got back after my long Friday evening drive as, uh, as I usually have to do. Uh, it's not a pleasant thing. I don't like driving on a Friday evening. Uh, it's boring, I have to say. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that I've got a car and I'm living in f as a free person uh, in a country that I enjoy living in. So there's always that, right? Um, this is the Los Angeles Times Expert level Sudoku puzzle. I'll be playing in just a moment. Before we get on, I'll just say uh, the reports have been published or a report has been published about private jet travel used by 0.003% of the population and causing great um, carbon release um, carbon uh, causing great um, oh, let's start again hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle it's Friday the 8th of November 2024 hope you are keeping well I'm just back after a long drive that I normally have to do on Fridays uh, it's boring, but um, I ought to appreciate the fact that I'm lucky enough to be able to drive myself fully functioning and, uh, you know, live in a place where I am able to live a comfortable life and a free life. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku as supplied to us by the Los Angeles Times in a moment. This will be the hard level Sudoku puzzle, of course. Uh, before we get on there though let's just mention the fact that a report has been published into private jets massively polluting for tiny uh, benefits you know benefiting 0.003 percent of the population um, but um, causing damage climate damage across the world and in particular to poorer countries uh, who have to you know pay the real cost for it um, Let's hope at one point this will be uh, taxed out of all existence because the tax ought to be, you know, five, five how about a thousand percent or something like that of the cost. Uh, rich people don't like to give up any money. They're mean as hell. And so maybe, uh, you know, hit them in the pocketbooks uh, would be a good idea. I don't suppose it will happen, though. All right. Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? Um, I can see a couple of things. I can, <coughs> excuse me. I can see the six is blocking here like this. My voice is going a bit. I've been speaking a lot, so my voice tends to crack up a little on the Friday. I can see nine blocking across here and nine blocking down here. That's going to give me a nine in that square. And I see one and six blocking across here, so I have one and six there. I actually saw the nine, one, and six as a triple, but I noticed the nines up there. So we have. 1 and 6 in these squares here. What does it give us for the 1s? Anything useful? Not a great deal. How about the 6s? Put 6 into those squares. Not really. So let's see what we've got here. This is 2 and uh, 8. Uh, no, 2 and 7, I should say. So two blocking down here there's our two there's our seven We've got three blocking down here, three across here, and three across there. So we'll get a three in that square. Then we've got three blocking down here and down here, and a three across there. So we will get three there. We've got five and eight in those squares there. Three blocks across here and three down here. So that will be a three. Oh, this looks good. I think we can finish the threes. Three up here, three across there. That gives me three, three across here and there. I can hear the sound of meowing cats. That's not my cat, by the way. That's outside. And my cat is still a prisoner indoors. Poor thing. He's been stuck in for such a long time now. Uh, 
nine blocking down here up here and across there Okay, six blocking down here and across here put six into one of these two squares blocking back here so there's our six and this is our one one across here and across there gives us one in that square the missing numbers here are two and eight the missing numbers up here are not two or eight they have to be five seven nine we got five and nine together that then will be our seven We have 9 blocking up here and across here, that gives me a 9 in that square, 9 down here and 9 across there. There's our 9, I said we need 5 here, right, 5 blocking across there, there's our 5. 5 blocking up here, up here, there's a 5. four blocks up there we're left with two and eight in these squares so this is our one four blocks across here four blocks up here so four is in one of these two squares blocking across and four down will give us four in that square
eight going up here and up there. Eight across there, there's our eight, this is two. Two across here and across there for a two in that square. Uh, missing numbers over here are 1 and 7, I think. So we've got the 7 blocking up here. 7 there, 1 there. Missing numbers here, 4, 5. Missing number here, 4. <coughs> this is 4, 5. So this has to be 1, 6. And this has to be... Two seven and We've got 7 and 9 across here, and we've got 7 and 9 up here, so we've got a pair of 7 and 9 in those squares. Now, I said this was 4, 5. That means that this square here would have to be 4 or 5 as well, but we've got 4 blocking here, so that's going to give us a 5 there, a 4 there, and a 5 there. Still only got three as the completed digit. may lead to nothing but I'll tell you what I see 1 and 8 blocking here or 1 and 8 blocking here so these squares can only contain 1 or 8 and these squares here must not contain 1 or 8 they have to be 2 and 6 no reason why not
Oh, we've got a pair of five and nine in these words. We've got five, nine here like this. So we've got five, nine there. So obviously this is two, six, I just said. Two, six, what's the other missing number? Seven. We only have one, two, six or seven. This is two, seven, isn't it? And this is, could be a seven. This can't be six. Ah, we've got six blocking here. We've got six blocking here. So that's going to be our six. And this square here is going to be our two. Okay. <coughs> and that leaves us with twos like this. So yes, that is correct. I hope. <laughs> um, how has that changed the picture? I don't know. Um, let's have a look around. Six down here, six across there. There's a six. And the last number to get here, <coughs> excuse me, is a four. Sorry, my voice is cracking up again, I told you. Happens when I've been speaking all evening. Four is like, well, not all evening, all afternoon, I should say. Be more precise. Right, we know this is one eight. This is one eight. This has got to be one or eight as well. And we've got the one blocking there, so that means that's our one that's our eight this is our eight down here eight blocking across here eight across here that gives me an eight in that square there eight to the bottom means this is an eight two is the last number to place here two blocking this square i know we have twos limited to these two squares if you don't believe me two blocking here there and there so there's the two one more digit to go here that looks to me to be a six but i'm not sure i think it is and up here we need a seven. <coughs> seven across, seven down there. There's our seven. Uh, the missing number here is two, I think. Two across here and there and down there. Uh, six across here. There's a six. This is a one. Last digit to place here is a seven. 7 blocking up gives us 7 in that square. This will be a 9. 9 down here gives us 9 in that square. 1 across here for a 1 there. And the missing number here, 5. 5 down here for a 5 there. And 8 finishes the game. That's our Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle. Just about capable of doing it on a Friday evening. If it was any tougher than that, I think I'd probably just go to sleep halfway through anyway thank you for joining me i'll see you over the weekend for some more sudoku fun and chat don't forget to chat bye bye